Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know I feel fucking awful. Can you tell? Do I look as awful as I feel? Probably not, because, you know, I can put on a good face or whatever. Uh, I've been up since 6 a.m. today. Uh, it's like 8 p.m. or something almost right now. And uh, I spent most of the day and most of the last two days... Oh, my stomach is killing me. Um, playing The Binding of Isaac. Um, it's really cool. We finally unlocked The Lost, which is like the the ultimate character that uh, dies in one hit and has no life and you can never get um, any hearts or anything. So I kind of think this is going to be boring for uh, those of you who don't play Binding of Isaac. But there's this um, like last character that you unlock when you're done with everything and um, he has like a gaggle of achievements that you want to get with him but it's almost impossible to do. You have to have like this perfect set of runs and each run is uh, randomly calculated or whatever so like you go into a room and then the item you get uh you know you kind of have to have a really good item at first probably gonna be really awful at talking today because i feel fucking like absolutely out of it like my stomach is doing like this cramping and uh nauseated awfulness and like i feel like i'm gonna throw up and then i have this headache like in the back of my head that like goes down to my neck and my like shoulders I feel like it would be really nice to have like a back rub or someone to just kind of like lightly touch me I don't know what that's called uh, I've talked to my roommate and a lot of other people about it but it's like just barely using your fingernail to graze the person's skin that feels really good and sometimes uh, to people it tickles um, I call it doing <laughs> which is kind of funny um, but I don't really know what to call it and that would probably make me feel better right now there's like this sharp pain in my stomach also, I skipped one day of birth control and now, like, the bleeding is back, which is, like, annoying and I've been having cramping all day. And now that I finally got up and, like, um, did the videos that I was supposed to do for Zoom and Games in front of the bright lights and the hot lights, I was, like, sweating and felt like I was gonna pass out and it just feels awful. And now I have to stream after this. Like, I finally got the video for Zoom and edited and sent out. And then I was gonna do a vlog because I haven't done a vlog for two days and I wanted to tell you guys what was up and have, like, a good content... Uh, moment. A good content moment. I don't feel like every single- it's annoying that I have to do a vlog every day. Not because, like, I have to do it, but because I don't feel like every single vlog is worth watching. It's funny because, like, sometimes I don't really have anything to say, or I haven't really done anything that day, or even that week, and it's just, like, nothing's really new. Uh, so I try to find, like, a topic, a philosophical topic or something that I believe in, that I want to talk to you guys about, and then I ask you guys' opinions on it um, and sometimes it's like really amazing like I really love the dick pics video because I felt like I was funny and I was also informative and I had I had an opinion that differs greatly from a lot of other people um, I had a great title I looked great in the video and just everything kind of meshed well together and other days I feel like oh why am I even uploading this and then I think about all of the videos that got a lot of views and brought a lot of people in like the Anita Sarkeesian video or the feel free to fat video or any of my other videos that um have like a sort of clickbait that are really like popular because I say a lot of interesting things um, like my video on fetishes or my video on metal music or my tour of my house any of those videos that I'm really proud of I hate it when there are other videos like if someone's subscribed because of those good videos and then they're watching daily and some of my videos are like hit and miss it bothers me that I'm not a hundred percent producing like the best content ever and every single time I'm done with a video I'm not like yes this was the best thing ever like sometimes I'll just do like a a video out of nowhere and it's like yeah I need to do a vlog for the day or something and um, it just makes sense to do it at that time and then I end up not being able to spit out my words correctly and I'm like stumbling around things and then sometimes I just can't get my head in the game and it's like I'm sitting there going um and like and what the fuck is going on and my train of thought is jumping all over the place and I'm not making any sense and then like I have to make a follow-up video about how I wasn't trying to offend everyone with my like you know crazy incoherent babbling and then there's other days where everything is just falls together in place perfectly and I can speak my mind clearly and everything is just great. Um, and today is one of those days where I feel like I'm clear but I'm not going to create anything that's like thought provoking and you guys aren't going to be like, oh my god, she's so smart and amazing and intelligent and she's such a great person. Um, and like, that's one of the kinds of good videos and the other kinds of good videos where people are like, fuck you bitch, blah, because it's like, you know, I actually said something that's controversial and that's interesting for me to see the um, opposing uh, ideas and stuff against what I'm saying. So that's also interesting. I like controversial, I like different, I like thought-provoking, and I like 
well-informed conversation. And I feel like I'm having a conversation with you guys and I feel like I got my point across and I did justice to my opinion, then I'm happy. Or if I feel like I talked about something really interesting or I was really funny and I did something cool, then I'm happy with the vlog. But um, sometimes I just don't feel like I'm proud of my content. And that, that happens more often with the vlog channel than anything else because the vlog channel is something I have to do every single day and I just have to find something to talk about and then it's like completely like not scripted at all, completely not cut up. Like I don't get to cut out all of the stupid parts or the parts where I say like or the parts where I sit there and think for a minute. I don't get to cut any of that out and that ends up being a longer video and if it's not a worthwhile topic with worthwhile content, I feel bad that it's a long video that you guys had to watch or that you like watch one day and it's amazing and then watch another day and it sucks. So yeah, um, I'm starting to feel a little better. Whenever I focus on something else, I stop feeling as sick as I do. Um, but as soon as I stop focusing on it, or as soon as I go to stream, I'm sure I'm going to start feeling like crap. My eyes hurt, my head hurts. I think it's just a lack of sleep and a lack of any kind of substantial nutrients, because I've also had like very low calories today. Um, but it's just, it's not like low, low, like, like sickly low or like lower than I should have. It's just like low, as low as I should have. And um, when you're trying tr to transition perfectly to a lower calorie diet or a lower calorie lifestyle, I don't like to say diet because diet implies that it's something that's, um, it's uh, not forever. And I don't think anyone should adopt a meal plan um, with the idea that they just want to lose weight. I think they should adopt a meal plan with the idea that they can stick to it forever and be healthy forever and maintain a lower uh, weight um, forever and not just have like a crash diet that fucks you up. So, um, but when I like have cheated a lot or had a lot of high calorie foods recently, uh, for the next couple months, uh, it's kind of hard for me to eat a lower calorie diet and still feel healthy. And I feel like that's isolated to just me. Because it's like I get not I, I get like sick to my stomach or like cramps in my stomach um, and a lot of other things uh, frequently like headaches that I can't tell whether or not they're like a backache and a, ba a back rub would fix it or like it's actually a headache or I don't know what. But um, I often just feel um, a general feeling of malaise often and it's just like ugh. You know, like kind of like an icky feeling where it's like indescript and ambiguous and you don't know if you're actually sick or if you're just being a baby or if, you know, it's because you didn't eat right or because you didn't do this or that or you need to sleep. All of these reasons, I have no idea. But I randomly feel that way and um, sometimes it prevents me from, from doing the things I need to do like working out as hard or doing as much work as I need to do or staying up as long as I should. Like often I'll take naps or something when I start feeling that way. And today is one of those days all of a sudden. So I'm thinking I'm going to like drink some water and maybe usually like higher calorie, higher carb uh, foods will help with it. So I'll have like a piece of bread or something and then that will kind of settle my stomach. I don't know if any of you guys feel that way. Uh, but let you know, uh, let you know, let me know uh, how you feel also about my content. Like, are you disappointed every other day? Do you like it? Um, am I entertaining every single time? Or is it sometimes like, meh, I didn't really like that video. Uh, are, do the videos that have like strong centered topics and I only stick on one topic, are they more entertaining than the ones where I jump around and I don't really know what I'm talking about and things are crazy and then I have to do a follow up video? Please let me know. Um, stupid ass fucking other vlog clogging up my fucking phone. Oh, someone said that I should delete apps that I don't use or games that I don't use. I have literally zero non-essential things on my phone. It's fucking ridiculous how many pictures and videos. I have on my phone and the only videos now I have are the Instagram videos which are like less than 15 seconds and just like thousands and thousands of pictures. So I need to like empty out my phone and but pictures still aren't that big. I think most of the size is uh, Spotify which I absolutely need because I have a Spotify premium or whatever membership and I listen to it in the gym in the car whatever I can hook up my phone to my car and run it through the speakers so it's important that I have that, and um, it's what pumps me up in the gym listening to like heavy metal and stuff, so yeah. But anyway, what I was saying is pigtails, yay, don't I look like Pippi Longstocking? I haven't done braids or pigtails in a long time, so I thought I would for today, for today's stream. And I like the shirt that I'm wearing, it's like comfortable and cool, and yeah, so. Oh, my boobs look big, but so do my collarbones and, and boob muscles. What are they called? Uh, they're like my pecs. My uh, breast implants are like underneath. They're they're in subfacial, subfacial. 
I can't, I can't remember the fucking, but it's like underneath the first layer of muscle, but not underneath the whole muscle. Uh, some women get it on top of the muscle, then the boobs uh, look a little bit more uh, fake and defined. Um, mine still look really super fake because like they're huge, <laughs> but um, that's what I wanted anyway. Uh, but mine are half and half or whatever, and that's what my doctor recommended so often. Like, like if I flex, I can't do it when I'm laying down, but if I flex, my, like, implants move and it looks really crazy. Um, but it's, like, a kind of a trick that I can do <laughs> and people think it's interesting. Anyway, I'll stop blabbering. Uh, let me know what you think and thoughts and stuff. Yeah, woo! Bye, guys.